Hello and welcome, I'm your Code Monkey, and in this video we're going to make a character portrait that will display a view of our character in a small window in our UI. Let's get started. So here's my scene and I have a character in here moving between waypoints. We want to create a UI window that will display a view of this character as it's moving around. So let's start off by creating the UI window. Let's go into the canvas and create an empty game object and name it window character portrait. Let's make another game object inside, call it background. And let's resize the character window. Let's give the background an image. Okay, here's my window with a background. Now let's make another game object. And this, let's name it raw image because inside we're going to add the component raw image. The difference between a raw image and a normal image component is that the raw image supports displaying a texture 2D instead of just a sprite. This is what we're going to use to display our camera texture. So let's put it about that and like that. All right, now let's create our camera. This is the camera that will follow the character. Make a new empty game object, give it a camera component, make it a 2D camera. So orthographic, give it a 10 for the size and let's name it camera. Okay, so instead of drawing this camera to the screen, we're going to draw it into a texture. In order to do that, let's go into our project files and create a new render texture. Name it character portrait render texture. Okay, make it 512 by 512. Now this size is obviously going to depend on how big you expect the final window to be. And let's apply this render texture to our camera. So the view of this camera will be rendered into this render texture. And we're going to display this render texture in our image. So as you can see right now, it shows black. But if we move our camera like that, we can now see in the camera preview and in our raw image where we see the camera view. Okay, great. In game, you can view the camera in here and you, the camera is positioned in here and there you go, the camera moves and you see it correctly. Okay, so now that our window is set up, let's write the code. Make a new script, C Sharp script and name it window character portrait. Now inside on our private void awake, let's grab a reference to our camera transform. So make a private transform camera transform and we're going to grab that in here. Camera transform equals transform dot find the camera. We're going to have a public void show. This is the function that will be called to show our window. Inside, let's receive a transform for our follow transform. And we're going to store it as a member variable. So, and let's set this game object dot set active to true so that it's visible. And on our public void hide, we're going to do the opposite. We're going to set the active to false and on awake, let's hide. So this window starts off hidden. Okay, so now let's make the update. Make a private void update. And inside, we're going to place our camera on top of the follow transform. So we're going to take our camera transform dot position and we're going to place it on a new vector three of the follow transform dot position dot X, follow transform position dot Y. The Z is going to depend on how you set up your main camera. So in this case, I'm just going to put it on the camera dot main dot transform dot position dot Z. So it's at exactly the same height as my main camera. Okay, so this should correctly be placing the camera on top of the follow transform. So now on our game handler, I have my camera follow script in here. It is simply moving the camera with the WSAD keys. Let's make another serialized field, but for our window character portrait, window character portrait. And let's make a transform for our character transform. Okay, so now on our private void start, Let's go into the window character portrait and show and give it the character transform. So first the character portrait sets up all the things on awake and then game handler start executes and it's going to show the character portrait using the character transform. All right, let's see if the window shows. Let's add our references. 
All right, there you go. As you can see, our UI window is in here and it is displaying a view of the camera and the camera is being placed on top of the character which is moving around. So now let's add the ability to show and hide our window. On the editor, let's add a button to close our window. I'm going to add the button UI component, which is part of the CodeMonkey utilities, which is always you can grab for free from unitycodemonkey.com. This is just a simple script that allows me to easily set up UI clicks. So in our code on the window for the character portrait, let's set up the click. So go into transform.find my close button, get the component of type button UI, which is part of the using codemonkey.utils. And on the button UI, I have a click funk, which is an action that is triggered when the player clicks on the button. So this action will do essentially just the hide function. So when I click the close button, it's going to execute the hide function, which is going to hide our window. Okay, there's my window, there's my close button. When I click, the window hides. Great. Now let's add a button to click on our character and show the window. So here's my character game object. I'm going to add a box collider 2D and size it to just about occupy the size of the character. So just like that. And I'm going to add a button sprite, which is also part of the CodeMonkey utilities. And in the game handler using the character transform, I'm going to go into the character transform dot get component of type button sprite. And I'm going to set the click funk to trigger this action. And inside, I'm going to trigger the show function. All right, let's see if I can click on the character to show and then click the close button to hide the window. Okay, the window is not visible. There's my character and if I click on it, and there you go, the window shows up and it has a close button, I can close it again. All right, there you go. I can open and close and looks great. Awesome. So there you have it. We have created a UI window that you can use to show a view of a character or building in your game. In the next video, we're going to add support for multiple windows. As always, you can download the project files and utilities from unitycodemonkey.com. If you have any questions, post them in the comments and I'll do my best to answer them. Subscribe for more videos and I'll see you next time.